Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale wish list. So if you want to see some of the things I have my eye on, then just keep watching. Alright, so first and foremost, if you haven't yet checked out my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, I definitely suggest you go check that video out. I will link it down below. So in that video, I talk about products that I've tried and that I want to recommend to you guys. But for today's video, we are going to be doing what is on my wish list, what I have my eye on. Now, this stuff isn't necessarily going to be what I actually pick up. I will most likely come to my senses a little more and pick out some of the things that I want a little bit more. But for now, I kind of have went through, loved a lot of things on on Sephora. So these are just some items right now that I have on my wish list that I hope to one day be able to pick up from Sephora specifically for the sale. So the first thing we have here is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love Lipstick in the shade Sugar. Now the reason I have this, this was just added yesterday, was because Mel Thompson posted her Sephora VIB sale recommendations and she talked about how that was just the most pretty, everyday, natural, neutral pink, but it's like very cool and I don't know, it just sounded like something that I really wanted and I just recently tried out a Becca lipstick that I really really loved so now I'm super into them so I want to get a couple colors I'm not going to I probably won't even get that lipstick but it's on my wish list for sure and by the way if you notice I'm a little bit pink um, I was out in DC yesterday and your girl forgot to put sunscreen but anyways, the next item on my wish list is the Fenty Beauty Little Bronze Duo. So this comes with a little mini bronzer in the shade Shady Biz and then a little cream bronzer stick in the shade Cinnamon. Now I've heard so many good things about the Fenty bronzers, but this is actually a better deal for somebody like me who has a ton of makeup products. Buying things in mini sizes actually work out a little bit better for me because I probably won't use the whole product anyways. So for this, I'm getting two smaller size products for less than the full size bronzer. So for me, this looks like a really good deal. I definitely am hoping to pick this one up. It is $24 and I don't know, I just think it's a really good deal. So that is already in my basket right now. I also have on my wish list the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Now, I've kind of been toying around with the idea of doing a full face of Fenty. So this would be a good way for me to kind of start picking things up for that video. I do like this because it is a mini rather than the full size so it's more affordable and I get less product which for me personally is a better thing. I'd rather pay less money for less product so that is currently on my wish list right now. So the next thing I have on the list is the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Lust Gloss Trio in the colors Skin Show Nudes. So I do have a couple of Pat McGrath lip glosses. I love them so much but I don't have that many so I think this is pretty affordable. $25 for all three and that's not including the discount and they're cute little baby samples which is right up my alley so I have been eyeing that recently and it's a good way for me to get a few more of her glosses into my collection. So next is from the brand Incredible. I've never tried anything from the brand. It seems to be a relatively affordable brand from Sephora so this is for the first time bounce blush and the shade that I want is my first love. It's only $10 before the discount. I've been loving like cream liquid blushes lately so this looks right up my alley and it's only $10 so that is definitely on my list. The next item is the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. Now this one I really don't know if I'm going to get it or not. It's been on my wish list for quite some time. For some reason it's been a foundation that's been on my mind for a really long time. I've heard a lot of like not so good reviews on it too and I still want it just because it sounds like something that I really really would enjoy even though people don't really seem to enjoy it but I almost feel like I need to try it just to get it out of my system so that currently is on my wish list right now I don't know I love Natasha Denona I haven't really tried her face products like base products so that is one of the base products from hers that is on my list the next item that we have is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow face primer you guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury um, I've been wanting to do a full overview of of the Charlotte Tilbury collection but there are a few items from the collection that I do want to try first and this is one of them. I obviously haven't tried every single item from her line but I've tried a lot from different categories and I kind of want to expand my knowledge to make the video better for you guys so I do want to try that primer eventually so it is on my wish list. And continuing on with my Charlotte Tilbury wants, I want the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Contour Duo in the shade fair slash medium. Again for the reason of being able to expand my knowledge on the 
Charlotte Tilbury range because I do not have this product in my collection and I think it would be great to have if I want to talk about Charlotte Tilbury, you know? Next item is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I'm like 80% sure I will be picking this up. I've heard so many people rave about it, how good it smells. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Glow Recipe as a brand. I've tried a few things from them uh, skincare wise and I haven't been too crazy about them but I've heard so many good things about this setting spray and I'm all about the setting sprays so I am looking to hopefully pick that one up. I have a few base products from Laura Mercier. So the first one is the Tinted Moisturizer. Now summer's coming up, that's why I want it. This is really good for summer. I I haven't used this tinted moisturizer in quite some time, but it really is one of the best out there. So I am interested in picking that up eventually. And also the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. That is one of her classics in her range. I remember using it years ago. Like, I'm talking like 10 years ago when I was using Bare Minerals, the powder foundation. I put the foundation primer underneath and then I put the, you know, Bare Minerals on top and it made that freaking powder mineral foundation stay all day. I remember being able to tell a difference. So that has been on my wish list for quite some time. I want to see 10 years later what I think of it now. And finally, the last thing from Laura Mercier that I've been eyeing is the Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I'm so obsessed with but I heard so many good things about this foundation and I love a good glow, something that's going to make my skin look a little dewy. So I really do want to pick this up. This is on my wish list. It's honestly of all the foundations on my wish list, I think that's the one that I would like to pick up the most. Next, I don't think I will be able to pick this up because it is currently sold out, but I want to pick up the Patrick Ta Major Glow Highlighting Mist in the White Pearl. It just looks so pretty and they're like all sold out right now the time that I'm filming this so I don't think they will be back in time for the sale but it's on my wish list. I really want to try it. It's different so I don't want to pay full price but it just looks like really cool and I just want to play with it, okay? Also on my wish list is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. So many people have talked about this and you know I experience real FOMO when it comes to makeup products and I've heard so many good things about this face primer that I feel like I really do need to try it. So that is currently on my wish list at the moment. We also have the Kaja Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigments. Uh, there's not one shade in particular that I'm eyeing. I do have the shade Mystical Loved on my wish list right now, but I would go through and look at the colors again. But I do want to try at least one of those. I've been really into Kaja lately, and I just, I don't know, those sparkling eye pigments look so pretty. The thing with those individual eyeshadows is they are so expensive for one color. So with the 20% off, that's going to help the situation so I am eyeing one of those eye pigments. We also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter in the shade So Hollywood. I don't know, I've just been really liking loose highlighters. I really want to try the So Hollywood shade and I don't know, it's ABH. I feel like everybody has it, so I want to pick that one up. Then. So the next thing that we have is an eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty and it is the Obsessions eyeshadow palette in the color Topaz, which is almost like a warm, mustardy orange shades. Really, really pretty. The colors look very unique in person. I've just been eyeing that for a while, so I definitely will be picking that one up. Actually, in fact, right now I'm using one of those palettes, the Amethyst one, and I'm going to have an Instagram tutorial up of this hopefully very soon. So if you do want to see how I got this look using this, I would follow me on Instagram at Morgan Turner Makeup. And I just love these monochromatic little palettes that Huda comes out with. I have a few of them and I've really been eyeing the Topaz for the past few months. So I think this is the time that I'm actually going to pick it up. We also have the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus, though I am kind of steering away from it because I've heard not so good reviews on it, but I do kind of want to try it myself. So though it is on my my wish list. I don't think I will be picking that up. I most likely will be trying a sample of that and going into store just to save me some money and the hassle. So it's on my wish list, but I think I'm going to end up passing on it. And finally, I am going to go into the last item, which is the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foiled Eyeshadow Pigment in the shade Persian Rose. I have two of them already. I am so obsessed with them, and I've been swatching Persian Rose in store, and... <sighs> Ooh, it is so pretty. It is one of the prettiest. So I do think this is my opportunity to pick that up. Single eyeshadows are so expensive for buying one shade. You know, it's originally $18. I might as well get an extra 20% off if I know I'm going to buy it eventually. 
so hopefully I will be able to pick that up. So that's all of the items currently in my wish list. Now this isn't final at all. I might end up adding a few extra things in my cart at the end of it all, which honestly I definitely will because there are some things I need to pick up for my makeup kit and I don't have them on my wish list right now. So if you don't know, for VIB Rouge, the sale is going to start on the 26th of this month. I already have a bunch of stuff in my basket. Throughout the past few days, I've kind of been adding and deleting so that it's already there by the time it is time to order. So I don't know. I definitely get very irrational with these Sephora sales because at the end of the day, 20% off really isn't that much. But you know what? If I know I'm going to end up buying these products anyways, that's why I kind of splurge. So I might as well do it while I can get them for a few bucks cheaper. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what is on your wish list. Anyways, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, I hope you will take the time to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a great day.